Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I am here with baby Archie and I am just going to talk about um, a few things with you guys as I get him dressed. I'm gonna change him in some baby blue because I think his colors are green and blue. Um, I had, I know this sounds crazy, but I was super excited about finally getting my redhead in my collection, but I ended up putting him up for um, sale and mainly because um, he's very cute and I love the way that he's painted and stuff like that. Um, it has nothing to do with the artist, but you know, we all have, have our things and I'm not as much in love with the sculpt as I thought I would be. And so it's like, you know how you you find that you finally find an artist that can do what you want them to do but then it might have not been the right sculpt for you i think that's my case right now and so i'm really really you know struggling with should i just keep him or not like he looks realistic Especially when I see him in his in his little swing and stuff like that, but then you know, and I don't be want wanting the artist to feel like it's something that they did or anything. It's just I'm just not um, I don't know. I'm just I'm just not really bonded like I normally would be especially being a very new baby um like he has so many great features and stuff he has like the little baby fuzz and it's on his ear and on his um a little bit on his ear and on his side of his face and he has a baby scratch and you know he has all these special little things that um paper city dolls does and I just, I don't know, I I really think it's just the sculpt itself. And the sculpt is cute. I mean, it's not, it's just not, I think I just would have preferred a different sculpt. And I picked this sculpt out. So again, this is how when you do customs, this is why customs can be so risky because you don't know if you're going to love it until after you see it. So you see the sculpt blank or you have this idea, but then not quite. So um, I'm going to show his little body. She does this little button thing right there where he has this little button. So I paid about $1,100 for him shipped. And, you know, if someone's interested in him, um, make me an offer close to that amount because I don't feel like her work should be discounted too much um, because he is, you know, nicely done and everything. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to just hold on to him just to hold on to him. I will get another one of her babies later. Um, but yeah, he has his little brush and his original pacifier. She makes special pacifiers and stuff for them. Um, which is still in the pack. Um, this is the pack that it came in. So I will send all his originals with him. Um, it has this little, it's like a little button pacifier. And he, I bought him as what she called her bells and whistles. So, and he has the dry skin effect on his feet a little bit. So, um, yeah. He is definitely, uh, he hasn't worn some of his new, new things or whatever that he came with. So, I would send that as well. Um, yeah, I just have to get another one later and get me a red head oh we'll go um his hair is kind of wet so don't mind it and she used very high 
quality uh, mohair. I was just trying to play with it and see if I style it different. Um, but yeah, um, definitely if you're you're seriously interested in him, um, let me know because he is available. And we will go from there. I am always... I always try to figure this thing out and I'm always getting it wrong. Now, where is... So this really... I guess this... Go there. Mm. I always struggle with these things. I should never dress a baby in these on camera because I embarrass myself every time. It's like, girl, you don't know how to put on no side snap. But yeah, well, he looks good in soft blues and greens. I've figured that much out so far as well. Those are his primary colors. And he's a pretty decent size. Um, he's newborn, but he's not like a tiny, tiny newborn. He can, and he's weighted pretty heavy too as well. So I didn't have to reweight him or anything. So he will be in his original state. And yeah. So that is baby Archie. I am going to reserve that name for my next redhead. <laughs> so, you know, I don't care if the new mommy decide to keep his name Archie. But I'm going to just let you know I'm going to have another Archie in my collection. So, and he comes with, she does this little special little brush as well. So, yep, that is baby Archie that hair is just beautiful it's nothing like having some nice mohair it's kind of it kind of I didn't even know if it was mohair because it it doesn't feel like like thick like coarse like you know um human hair but it feels like it's actually a real baby hair if that makes sense I don't know. But yeah, his hair can be styled in different ways, but I think that's the cutest. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get him some photos for Instagram and we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And um, let me know if you guys in the comment section have had babies that you love and you think are realistic and well done, but you just, feel like it's just not the baby for you and I know that the perfect mom is out there so I'm you know I'm, I'm hopeful that he'll find a mommy a new mommy um but I know I can't be the only one that experienced that like look at him he's so adorable but it's like mm, I think I would want I want to get another sculpt um yeah I might even want an awake one. Who knows? Anyway, I think too because I had a Sam and then I had the Kai. It's like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just more drawn to the Sam. I don't know. Anyway, that is it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.